This week on Phytex Tech Tuesday, we're going to go over our throttle body EFI systems and simplify the wiring process. We're just going to do a quick overview of where all the wires hook up and some of the important things to focus on so you avoid simple mistakes. When you get your Phytex EFI system, there's going to be a set of instructions that come along with it. This set of instructions will have a wiring chart that explains what wire color goes to what and where it needs to be hooked up with detail. So please refer to the instructions on when wiring them up. And also you'll notice that all of our wiring has little flags on where they go as well that help you correspond which wire goes where. For an example, our battery wire. Battery wire is red. In the wiring chart, it explains that we want to hook this wire to the battery straight to the positive post of the terminal but also on that wire, it is marked battery to help you identify which wire it is and where it goes. This principle applies to several wires found on the throttle body. These clearly labeled wires and more will be covered in this overview. Starting out on the left side of the throttle body, we can see the relay box and wiring harness. Two connectors run from the ECU on the back of the throttle body. The four-point portion of the harness plugs into the black connector, and the relay box plugs its corresponding gray connector into the one from the throttle body. The remaining black connector is used for the two-point portion of the harness. On the four-point harness, we see a white key-on wire, a blue tack input wire, a yellow fan circuit wire, and a black coil trigger wire. There are a few important things to note about these wires, and when and where they would be used. The white key on wire will always be in use. The blue tack wire, however, will only be used if timing control is not used. If timing control is used, you will use the black wire. Specific directions on what to do with these wires can be found in the instruction manual. Moving on to the yellow wire, use of this one is entirely optional. Now on to the two-point harness. We see the orange fuel pump wire and red battery wire. These wires are thicker than the rest and both are required in any installation. We recommend routing the battery wire directly to the battery. Going to the starter or alternator would be two examples of poor points to hook up to as the starter will consume most of the voltage during cranking, which will shut off the EFI system. And going to the alternator will give AC voltage feedback that could mess up readings within the ECU. Moving on to the front of the throttle body, we see two sets of wires, one for the handheld and one for a magnetic pickup. The handheld wires are quite straightforward. They have connection ports that simply plug into each other. The blue and green magnetic pickup wire is another optional connection that would be used with timing control. Finally, on the right side of the throttle body, there is two more sets of wires with simple connection points. The first of the two connects to the O2 sensor. Once again, a simple push together connection. The other wire connects to the coolant temp sensor. Moving into the accessory wire section of the uh, wiring, there's a couple of discrepancies depending on what ignition system you're using and what EFI system you have. So these systems can work with timing control or without, depending on the system that you have. And depending on which way you want to hook it up, different wires are used. A really good resource to kind of correspond how you're hooking it up and how it is hooked up in the system is the back of the instructions. There's a bunch of wiring diagrams back there that go over how to hook up to an HEI distributor, to a ready to run distributor, to a capacitive discharge ignition box. And then if you're doing the timing control, how that changes. So where the distributor plugs into the EFI system or to the ignition box. And then if you're using our tack wire or our coil wire. So that concludes the basic wiring on a typical throttle body injection from us at Phytech. If you have any additional questions on how wiring is hooked up, the information may be in the instructions under all the charts and diagrams that we have on them. If you need those instructions, visit our website at phytechefi.com. Under the support tab on the top, you can obtain all of the Phytech product instructions. If you have any questions or comments on today's video or suggestions for future videos, please comment them down below. 
You could also see additional videos on our website under the support tab under Tech Tuesday.